Today I'll be teaching you how to make a traditional batch of kava. To do that, you'll need kava root, a kava strainer. This one's the one we sell on our website uh, at kavafied.com, and uh, some bottled water. So the basic rule of thumb for making a strong batch of kava is to use one part kava to about three to four parts water. So take your strainer bag and your, the kava you, you want to mix with it and dump the kava into the strainer bag, like so. <clears throat> with the kava in the strainer bag, the next step is to add water to it. Since we used about one cup kava to this, we want to add about uh, three to four cups of water to make a very strong batch of kava. Holding the strainer bag up like so, simply dump the water into the strainer bag. And we got three of these, so let's do that right now. What you want to do next once the water is added to the strainer bag is get a firm grip at the top because you're about, we're about to do a lot of squeezing. So with a firm grip on top to make sure no kava uh, leaves the strainer bag, we'll begin the process of uh, squeezing out all the kava lactones from the kava root and into your batch of kava. The next step takes about five to ten minutes. You want to soak the kava a strainer bag with the kava in the water, and then and then get a firm grip on it and squeeze out all the water into the batch of kava. So each each time you're pressing, you want to squeeze as much of that kava out as you can, and then repeat. The reason you have to do this is because the kava lactones are a glue-like substance that kind of just stick to the kava root, and this squeezing process uh, loosens it from from the root and into your beverage, and that's. And the more you can get out of the root, the stronger your your uh, kava drink will be. After a few minutes of straining, you'll notice that the kava that you squeeze out of the strainer bag gets a little bit more watery. This is a good sign that the kava is almost ready to drink. After a long 10 minutes of squeezing, the kava is ready to be drunk. If you make a strong batch of kava like we just did, it's always good to have candy or uh, a sweet fruit like pineapple on hand to chase your shell with. Enjoy! Now that you've learned how to make kava the traditional way, I'll now quickly demonstrate how easily you can make kava with the olive ball. Simply open up your olive ball, which is this thing right here. Twist it off. With about a spoonful of kava, pour pour the kava into the ball. You can see down like that, right there. As you can see. Grab the top of the olive oil. Screw it on tightly. Grab your olive oil shaker bottle. Like this. And fill it up with uh, the amount of water you want, preferably about, uh, I want to get a little bit more than halfway, so 
you don't accidentally crack the bottle or anything. So right there, they're all about in here. Make sure you screw the lid on tightly. So like before, you, you had to squeeze the kava in the strainer bag uh, to get the kava out. Uh, by shaking this ball in, in the shaker bottle, the agitation it creates mimics and enhances uh, the same process you just did, but in a fraction of time. So give it, say, 30 seconds to about a minute and you're ready to go. So here we go. So it's been about a minute now, which is just a fraction of the time we spent uh, making this kava the traditional way. And the kava is just about done. So simply grab your, your cup. Pour it up. And enjoy. As you can see, half the time, same amount of kava. So there you have it. You have two options for making kava. The traditional way, which is still the best way for making kava for in large batches when you're drinking kava with friends, or the new innovative way that I created for when you have long days and just need a quick drink of kava to relax at the end of it and don't have the time to uh, make a full batch using a strainer bag or if you're on the go and can't can't get access to a strainer bag or a big space and whatnot uh, they're all available on our website at www.getcavafied.com or on Amazon. Uh, mahalo for watching our kava preparation tutorial. I hope it helps you experience kava in new and old ways. And for that, I give you two claps to a kavafied lifestyle.